Many of you may or may not uh, know me, given I've only been in the job eight weeks. Um, my name is Alex Blood, and I'm the new um, executive director for Minerals. I just, um, first of all, just like to welcome everybody for coming. I know that uh, um, there's been a bit of travel to get here, and flights, and driving, and all that sort of stuff. So, thank you, and also thank you for all the time that you've um, provided to the team over the last few years. It's been outstanding, based on the sort of update that I've had in my eight weeks here. Um, just, just I guess on behalf of the Minister, um, who was very um, passionate yesterday at my briefing with him, that he sent his um, best wishes for this and is really looking uh, to this room to give him direction uh, through his department on where things go. Uh, he, wants, he wants it to be a collaborative forum. He wants us to be listening and hearing and being able to develop policy based on the people that are living it on a day-to-day -day basis rather than, I guess, what government can do sometimes is they think they may or may not be doing the right thing and they can set the rules. But it's the people that have to live those that, um, that know how it works and it doesn't work in some cases um, in the field. So in this case, um, government and, um, and the ministers definitely heard uh, the concerns around native title and low impact uh, exploration activities. Obviously, the native title groups and new explorers as well are the key parties in that. We've heard the frustrations. Um, we've heard the, the need to improve. We've heard the confusion um, on all sides on how it works and doesn't work. We've, we've, we've heard people feeling vulnerable and unsupported by government. And, you know, quite frankly, people have said they don't trust government. Um, so this is our way of being open and building trust always starts from having a conversation. So we're here to listen, we're here to give our time to you and I hope you take full advantage of that. Listening to, I guess, um, the concerns that have been raised over, over an extended period, we have decided to take this kind of proactive approach. What we're really hoping is that by tomorrow you give us some clearer guidance on what the next steps are. We don't want to do this alone. I think this is too important to too many people at a personal level and at a business level um, to do it exclusively. So I do ask that you be open uh, to sharing your thoughts and open to hearing other people's thoughts so that tomorrow hopefully we can have some agreement on what the next step, what actually tomorrow may look like rather than sort of where we are at the moment. I did actually make notes, that's why I'm turning my page. Um, but I also acknowledge this is not easy. There's a lot of personal history and personal investment and experience um, in the issue of native title and the issue of mining, and everybody has strong feelings about it on occasion. I certainly read the issues paper um, a number of times, and I guess what struck me reading it was, not only was it an amazing um, amount of information on what everybody had said over the last couple of years, but what really struck me were the similarities there was common ground quite evident in there. Both the explorers and the native title groups are interested in transparency, transparency with each other and transparency from government. Both, both want to work together better, but I think at the same time I, I picked up that both maybe struggle a little bit to understand how to do that better and are looking for guidance from each other and from government in how to do that better. I think that it was quite apparent that um, both, both groups need to understand each other better. Um, native title groups have certainly raised uh, the importance of cultural understanding and cultural um, appropriateness. And I think for the explorers too, even though they are a business, yeah, a business of, of themselves, they want to be understood. They want people to understand how their business works, what it looks like on a day-to-day -day basis for them, and actually get a sense of their challenges and their problems that they have on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you understand each other a little bit better, I think it's, it, it's easy to come to a table and work to more practical um, and hopefully positive outcomes. And I guess in, in having today and tomorrow's discussions about what is quite, um, quite important, I think it's to remember it's important at a personal level. I also think that what's happening in this room is actually important for the rest of the state. So there's another million people that are not sitting in here and the things that come out of here will impact them on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, the ability of um, broader traditional owners to 
to achieve benefits, to be participating in things that are happening on their land. The ability of mining to continue in this state, the revenue raised from that is what helps fund our health systems and it's all interconnected. So it's actually a big task that is on our shoulders, but I do think that it's worth remembering our commonalities and that if we can move forward in a positive way, it does offer benefits to, to many people outside of this room. I guess just to finish, didn't want to go on too much, there's plenty of talking to be done and, um, over the day, is that what the Minister would like to see, what I would like to see, I know what the team would like to see, is that the issues paper, the openness continues today, that some of the conversations may be difficult, that you feel free though and supported to be able to share those and that we hopefully get a way to move together. I want you to be part of the solution um, and government not to be part of the problem. So thank you very much.